Now let us start with question number four on kinematics motion graph. This is a long question again split on two screens. If you want you can take the screenshots. This is the first screen of the question and here you have the second screen of the question. Try to attempt the question yourself and then come back to the video. Play the video again to look at the answers to understand the working. All right, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you're liking the video and if you think that the videos are of use to you and please do comment in the comment box and let me know your feedback. It will help me to improve the quality of the content. All right, so now that you, I suppose that you all would have solved the question yourself, you would have paused the screen and come back here to play the video. So now we are going to talk about the solution, the working of this question. Define, the first part says define velocity and acceleration, one, one mark question. In these questions, you have to just write down the formula for velocity, the formula for acceleration. The formula for velocity says the rate of change of displacement. The formula for acceleration says the rate of change of velocity. Let us look at the mark scheme, what the Cambridge tells you to write. Velocity is equal to the rate of change of displacement, take care that it is displacement here, not distance. When we are talking about distance, we are talking about speed. Here we are talking about velocity, so we talk about displacement, right? Or you can also say displacement change over the time taken for this change. Acceleration similarly, the rate of change of velocity or change in velocity over the time taken. So they have just given the formula. That's it. It's a one mark question. So you need not worry to go into too much of details. So this is your part A. Part B starts from this point. A car of mass 1500 kgs travels along a straight horizontal road. The variation with the time t of the displacement x of the graph is shown here. So now this question is on displacement time graph. So always it's a good idea to verify, to understand at the beginning of the question itself, what kind of a graph you're going to work with in this particular question. Always answer this question before you start attempting the question. So what kind of a graph it is? It is a displacement time graph. Now you'll apply all your logic, your understanding of displacement time graph to, to answer this question. Use this figure, this figure to describe the, to describe qualitatively the velocity of the car during the first six seconds of the motion shown. First six seconds starting from this point to this point, first six seconds. Qualitatively, you do not have to do any, any quantitative work, any number work, you have to just define in words and give reason for your answer. It's a three mark question. That means three valid points they are looking for, right? So let us look at this graph carefully. What kind of a graph it looks like? It looks like a straight line graph, but is it a straight line all throughout? No, it is a straight line for some time. Then it bends. It is a curve in between here, which I'm showing with my pointer. It is a curve and then it becomes a straight line graph in the end again. So when a displacement time graph is a straight line, what does it represent? It represents a constant speed. So initially, initially if you see what is happening, where it is a straight line graph from time t is equal to zero to a certain period of time, you need not mention the time, you say it is a constant speed constant velocity we'll talk about because it's a displacement time graph. So you say constant velocity. And what is happening in the next section? Next, from here to here, it is a downward going curve. So you can say reducing velocity, reducing velocity. And in the last part of the graph, again, a constant velocity. What are your reasons? Mention your reasons as well. That in the first part, it is a straight line. So it is a constant velocity, straight line. They are telling you to give reasons, right? 
straight line therefore constant velocity downward going curve therefore reducing velocity reducing v and a straight line again therefore constant velocity if you do not understand how to decipher how to understand the displacement time graph go through my theory on the motion to understand all these concepts very well so i have a theory video on it which will make you understand how to decipher the distance time graph or the displacement time graph how to decipher the velocity or the speeds from these kind of graphs let us tally the answers with the mark scheme initially constant velocity as it is a straight line so you have to give your answer constant velocity and you have to give your reason it is a straight line or you can also say constant gradient that's also a reason straight line has a constant gradient midsection decreasing speed or velocity why because the gradient is decreasing or you can also say it is a downward going curve means the same thing decreasing gradient and the last section it is a lower velocity and the gradient is again constant again constant it is a smaller gradient if you see earlier the line was more inclined now it has gone down in the inclination inclination has gone down if you compare this line and this line the inclination has gone down later on so this is also one point that you can mention here that the gradient is smaller but it is constant all right so here if you write your answer like this you'll get all your three marks you can pause at the mark scheme understand the mark scheme very well to fit in and fill in the answer for this first part i have explained everything if you still have any doubts always do feel free to comment in the comment box and ask me for the clarification of your doubts your feedbacks are very very relevant for this channel to improvise on the channel to improve the quality of the content and the explanation on this channel right calculate the average velocity during the time interval time t is equal to 0 to time t is equal to 1.5 so where is 1.5 1.5 would be somewhere here somewhere here right something like this So this will be your 1.5 average velocity all you have to do you have to find the gradient if you are giving a displacement time graph how do you find the velocity you find the gradient of the graph it is a straight line graph so finding the gradient is easy let us find the coordinates of the of this point the coordinate here would be 1.5 and somewhere around 44 or 45 let's take it as 45 this is the coordinate so velocity will be the gradient the formula for gradient is y2 minus y1 this comes from your maths coordinate geometry x2 minus x1 let us take one of the points as as x2 as x2 y2 let us call this point as x2 y2 what is your x1 y1 x1 y1 is your 0 0 right so this becomes 45 minus 0 over 1.5 minus 0 so this becomes 45 over 1.5 30 30 meters per second this is your average velocity in the first part of the graph let us tally with the mark scheme as well is the answer correct yes our answer is correct this is the mark scheme fine let us now this is this part is done let us come to the second part of the question show that the average acceleration between 1.5 and 4 is minus 7.2 meters 
per second square. So they are talking about the acceleration between what two points? Let me erase these work and move step by step. So let us mark these point 1.5 this is your 1.5 and 4 this is your 4 so we have marked both the points the speed at 1.5 we have already calculated in the previous question speed average speed from 0 to 1.5 we have already calculated it was 30 So let us write down the information that we have already gathered. So speed, velocity is 30 meters per second at what time? At time t is equal to 1.5 seconds. So what is the velocity? Let us call this v1. So what is the velocity at time t is equal to 4 seconds because the other value of the time that they are talking about in the question is 4 seconds right or 4.0 seconds so what is the velocity at this point you can calculate the average velocity at 4th second as well because 4th second onwards it is a straight line it is a straight line 4th second onwards so let us draw a few lines construction lines at the fourth second what are the coordinates of this point 4 and looks like it is 98 at the sixth second what are the coordinates looks like it is 122 6 and 122, 122. So you got the two coordinates. You got the two coordinates. On the displacement time graph, you can find the gradient here. You can find the gradient. Let us find the second gradient, M2. 